a while back, I was part of the Grand Mafia. And you could say it was a community outreach program run by grandmas. Let's just leave it at that. But one day they sent me out to the residential area, which is not normal. Usually I dealt with businesses. Uh, when I got there, I realized what this was about. All the other houses are one or two stories tall. The house I was sent to, 10 stories tall. Uh, if I didn't know better, I would have thought the person living there was compensating for perhaps their height. Maybe they're not little, maybe they weren't very happy about the, how short they were. So I go up to knock on the door. And before I can even get there, this little kid, probably four or five years old, opens up the door. And he says, what the hell do you want? And I say, well, hey there, slugger. What's your name? And he says, I'm Toddler Howard. I said, oh, well, Toddler, is your mother or father home today? And Toddler says, yeah, my dad's home. He's home all the time. He never goes to work or anything. He just stays here playing video games all day. And then he turns around and he yells out, Hey, Dad, someone's here to see you. And he just keeps screaming, Dad, Dad, Dad. And then this guy comes out. He's wearing nothing but stained underwear. Uh, he had cheese on his fingers cheese dust there so I'm assuming it was like Cheeto stains I hope he comes up takes a drag off of his vape stick black licorice smell fills my nose and he says yeah and I say hello sir I represent a local community outreach group and what we do is we go to video game developers, such as yourself, and we offer them our services. And the guy says, yeah, what kind of services do you offer? And I say, well, you know in your last game, Fallout 4? And that got the guy's attention because he didn't think I recognized me. Yeah, it was Todd Howard himself. You know how it got like an 85 or an 86 on Metacritic? And he says, yeah. That really pissed me off. I say, well, the services we offer ensure that kind of thing doesn't happen. Uh, we guarantee whatever Metacritic score you want. Now, if you, do, if you don't join our program, um, you know, we can't guarantee the score that you'll get. You could get a 87 or an 88, maybe even an 84. And Todd says, I don't respond to threats. And I say, no, 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 sir. I'm not threatening you. I'm just saying, if you don't get to be part of our program, we cannot help you. And uh, things happen during development. Things happen during the review process. And sometimes a game gets a bad score it doesn't deserve. And Todd says, all right. I can't believe I'm doing this. Reaches into his underwear, pulls out a copy of Skyrim for the Nintendo Switch, places it in my hand. I say, uh, no, 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 no. We're way past the Skyrim. And Todd says, yeah, okay. I'm hearing you. Reaches into the back of his underwear, pulls out some slips of paper, hands them to me, and he says, each of those codes... They'll give you a thousand Bethesda bucks. Good in any creation club enabled game. And that includes Fallout 76. 
And I'm thinking, yeah, okay, here we go. This is a great deal. This is exactly what we wanted. And then he says, you know what? Keep that Skyrim game as a gift from me to you. Maybe you let your cats, uh, Sadie and Pepper, play it, huh? I said, hey, yeah, that's a great idea. Well, 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 sir, I'm glad we can come to an arrangement on this and didn't have to get nasty. And Todd says, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not going to get nasty, is it? I said, no. And I turn to leave. I'm walking away and suddenly I stop. And I realize something. I never told Todd about my cats. There's no way he could have known who they were. I turn around and he's just standing there. Taking another drag off of his vape stick. He just gives me a wink. <laughs> gives this evil smile on his face. He just starts laughing. <laughs> Goes inside, slams the door shut. I'm really worried for my cats.